That's right, people. It's that time once again that I get to get out the uh, crappy toys and I review them. That's right. It's a crappy toy review. Now, I haven't done one in a while because I haven't been fully inspired. But now that I'm inspired, I've also had other people tell me that I've ripped this off from someone else before. Yes, Sean, some people. Like my lawyer. I wonder what his problem is. But other way, if you want to know what I'm reviewing, I'm actually going to review a new figure. A relatively new figure that I just have issues with. Granted that it's gimmick as well is a good idea for a gimmick. It's just on this figure, it was executed poorly. And I'm talking Power Core Combiners Skyburst. So yes, sit back, relax, as I go on to show why this is a bad toy. <laughs> Okay, first off, here we have Skyburst in his uh, separated teams. This is Skyburst here in the center, and his four drones. The drones look really nice. Well, this one does have the little peg part here. Other than that, hey, they look great. I mean, to, if you replace these two with jets, you have form some form some of the aerial bots. But uh. From there, it goes on a little wonky. His jet mode is actually not that bad until... Yeah. He has backpack syndrome. Which, you know, as as an overall, I can give, give a hit, hit or miss with. But to me, he kind of looks like the Cobra... <laughs> Night Raven jet from the movie. I don't know why. He just does. Supposed to be some sort of stealth fighter jet, I don't know. Then we have a helicopter. A gunship helicopter, which I actually really do like the look of this. I mean, come on. Except for that gun falling down, it does look really sweet. To a, what assumed to be a warthog that's now converted with a radar dish, which kind of really resembles Cybertron Wingsaber. This Cybertron Jolt is just a rescue helicopter, which is pretty neat. And here we have a fighter jet, which resembles one of the original Aerobots. Which, you know, overall this is really nice. And then we go toward his robot mode. And now we have Ro. Yes, people, we have a robot wearing a jet for a cod piece and a backpack. Are you sure he's not related to Silverbolt? Yeah, that's right. The uh, the power core combiners they convert to what's known as it's a scout figure with the four drones. Which means, yeah, and you charge $19 for it. It's kind of hard to get past. But, with him, I don't, I, it's the uh, robot mode is not too bad. You have limited articulation due to the backpack here. His arms are all on ball joints. This one, on mine, completely loose. Have to be careful or it pops off completely. But other than that, not too bad. Not much head articulation due to all the kibble back there. And then we go into the power core combine mode. Now, I'm actually going to show the transformation of the power cord mode compared to just not showing the transformation of the robot. 
Now, with the power core combiners combining, there's transformations that this has to go through to really get the gimmick to work. Now, here's another issue that I have. When you go to transform it, there's a little peg right here that is extremely hard to get out to the point where you basically have to break the toy almost to get it out. And I have actually, on numerous occasions, popped that off. That is very weakly put in. Um, that's why I don't... I, I leave this thing in combined mode and leave it on the shelf because it falls apart way too easily for this and that's negative play value. If you're going to have a part that constantly falls off when you're transforming a character, it kind of loses its value. I mean, there's other parts in here where it should have pegged into and it just doesn't. It's just the peg is not that far off. Um, and then to separate... Because what it is, is you have to pull this apart to get a full up here, a full connection up here. And it's just extremely hard to do. Because you got to fold all these around. Fold up the head. these pieces around. Now the arms here. Fold up. See? Too much gimmick and not enough substance. You have to get the arms to fold up just right, but they keep snapping off. Where that happens. Oh, and over here, with joints being tight and joints being loose, you can't get that fully without it falling apart, which is a, a negative. There's to that, and then over here, you fold that up and fold that up. Almost like he's doing the crunch. And then you fold out these little pegs here on the inside of the legs. Which are reset so deep that if you don't have fingernails, you're not going to get out. So parents with young kids that have these, be prepared for every day your kid to want to play with this. Come get you to transform. And let's put this back piece back on, shall we? And there we have Skyburst in his uh, Let's Clamor to Me pose. Now, the other issue of this is these pieces right here. Some of these are extremely loose that when you go to combine its drone, well, let me show you. Well, first, let me show you the drone that also gives me issue. This is to be a leg. I can understand that. But before you have to connect it, you have to fold back the wings and this piece for that. And what it is, is there's not enough plastic there that just the slightest bump, and it springs out. The springs are too powerful. And now, time to get them on the robot. First, the knees bend back in. Now we got him down like this. Let's fold this back and fold that up. Oh yeah. You have to have his knee bent permanently for this gimmick to work. Now over here, 
you just fold back the machine guns, peg in, oops, peg in that, fold that back up. There again, issue. The slightest bump movement and it snaps out. And that's supposed to be a foot. There again, knee has to be bent, this knee straight. So he's walking around with old man knee. Now, the one combined, the one part I do like, I do love this one's transformation to the joint. And it pops back out. You're constantly going back in and resetting that. Now here comes the super arm, as I like to call it. You can bind this one in and the whole... Oh, there's another issue. That one slides down. When you're, when something is supposed to combine, you want this joint to be a little bit more tighter than what it is. So when you go to combine it, something like that doesn't happen. So you insert. And there you go. And you need to move that around. But overall... Combine mode, I've seen better. Now, these pieces actually look better on another figure, and I'm going to show you that right now. And I was going to show you who was I going to use, but I'm going to use Power Core Combiner's Huffer, already set up for his transformation to connect onto it. With the power up bar, his power armor, mini con. First of all, I do want to say I love this figure. It's really nice. And he's going to get his own review. So let's go ahead and connect the drones. There's one drone. I almost hear the Voltron music when you do this. feet issue again. But other than that, I like this. This looks a lot better. I don't know why. It just could be that he's got a bigger, bulkier body with these drones on it. I just like it. I mean, I really, really like it. It looks fantastic. And that's the only saving grace for these dr drones, except for this one. This one should have been redone. Springs, flimsy. And having to keep it at a, a knee bent for the foot gimmick to work, that's a drawback. But otherwise, this is good. This combiner, not so good. So, what do you think? Me, I don't like it. It's not too good. But... So let's go to the final thoughts. So, my final final thoughts on the pro product. Power core combiners are a good idea. Just some needs to be worked on more than others. But that's just my opinion. And that's what makes my crappy toys different. I take an idea of little bits and pieces of a figure and point out the flaws. And I also still say some of the good things about it. But... Something like Power Core Combiner Skyburst, it I just it boggles the mind. Loose joints, crappy transformation, simplistic robot mode, while the other Power Core Combiners have more intricate transformations. Huffer, I mean, phenomenal transformation for being a Scout class figure. 
So, overall, can I recommend them? Yes, I can recommend them. Do I recommend Skyburst? I would get it for the drones, because a couple of the drones you can use for other ones to boost up what they look like, mix and match. Yes. But Skyburst itself? No. I really can't recommend it. So, this is Cybertron X. I stay addicted. Hey! Whoa, sorry TJ. I mean, I buy crappy toys, so you don't have to. Have to. This is Cybertron X. Later. Yes, it's that time again that I do one more of these videos, and I haven't done them in such a while because lately I just haven't been inspired. Plus, there's some people out there that think I've written, uh, the, yeah, mm, me, uh, blooper one. Yes, it's that time again, people, where I knock toys off my shelf while I'm trying to record a video. Ugh. I'm making bloopers for this. That's done. Alright. Here you go, Sean. Come on. Here's the line you wanted. Hey! Give me another one. Hey! That doesn't really work with the line you want to use, though. That's more something you say when someone takes a cheap shot at you. So I'll give you I'll give you my interpretation. Yes, Sean. Some people like my lawyer. I'll give you another one of that real quick here. Uh, I'm improving. I'm trying to think. Hang on. Yes, Sean. Some people like my lawyer. Hope that works. Whoa, sorry, TJ. I mean, I buy crappy toys, so you don't have to. Have to. This is Cybertron X. Later. Stop recording. <laughs>